what I tried to do something quick and I got the forbidden. Why did I get this one? Logged in and ah, oh, I must be logged in. Where is the It says that I'm logged in. Yeah, but no, on the other page it says you're not. So um, can I usually, be one on, or the other? Um, usually, once you're logged in, you're logged in for the whole browser. But I don't know what's going on. Sarah, right, can you check this? Uh, Go to the yeah. agenda for today. Sure. September 23, uh, right. Yeah. And then uh, oh. bullet number five. It should Consen probably say something like consensus call on gal gas, file style, uh, actually, I see. Uh, the death net control word and the uh, file style STL. No, no, that extra thing is not there. Ah, uh, yeah, but can you, can you change it? I could, I tried to change it and it didn't work. Yeah, sure thing. Oh. Give me a moment, please. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you if you log in, I think it will resolve the issue. But uh, and let, uh, let what is the text that you? Yeah, I think you're logged in. Try now. Try to edit this page. I, I can try it for the third time, but that's kind of uh... okay. <laughs> Tell me what is it that you want to uh, change then. So what I want to do is actually go to bullet number five, change that. Okay. And it should be consensus call on galgas, comma, desnet control word, comma, or and, comma, uh, file style STL. Is that okay, Kirti? And then in your it's in okay. Um, I was finding my mute button. Ah, okay. I will actually stop sharing and let uh, okay. uh, Parik do that instead. No worries. I'll uh, share my browser one second. Um, Yeah, that's what you wanted, right? On number uh, five. But did you show it? Uh, yeah, I, I, are you seeing it? It looks good. That's okay for me. Uh, but uh, since Kireti. Yeah, it's okay for me. Yeah. Okay, good. So, um, we actually have to top of the agenda again. If there is no other agenda items, I wanted to update the uh, um, because you, you know I had an action item to follow up with John Drake. Uh, yeah. So he, is he on the call today? He's not, right? I haven't not. seen him. No. And and as well uh, on our internal chat uh, uh, platform, he, he I I wasn't able to reach out to him. He's offline. Okay. Um, so yeah, I couldn't uh, add him to you, the agenda. You, you can remove bullet num number seven then. Uh, On the agenda. Sure. Yeah, yeah. You take the, and then we check on that for for next time. Okay. So let's start uh, from top. Uh, On the right. A. It's on me, uh, and uh, I'm actually preferring preparing a consensus call on the indicator text, but I actually want the um, uh, Galgas 
to go first. So if we can't conclude that today, it will be a week out anyway. Um, the action item B is also on me, and that's for uh, the um, what we what you then call the Galgash consensus call. Uh, and it's on the agenda today, so let's see what happens. Uh, action item number C, or is uh, there is next week there is a um, routing security workshop uh, sponsored by Adrian and I think Daniel King. It's as it's planned, it's actually a overlap with our meeting. And I have made uh, a number of proposals to create it, but I haven't seen any response yet. So I don't know what will happen. I have uh, two proposals. One I like a little bit better, and that is actually to actually delay our meeting one hour and start their meeting one hour early, so they will have a two hour slot for the they workshop. Can't. They can't, huh? can they? That they can't. They said that that um, they've got a conflict with um, previously booked external speakers, so it would have to be us that ah. moved. Okay. So Adrian sent you an. I mean, unless I'm unless I'm dreaming, Adrian sent an email about this today. Oh, I, I, I did see. It. I, 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 I saw it to Stuart as well. Yeah. Okay. So. With that information, is it possible to move our meeting one hour earlier? Earlier, it will. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, well, think... most of the people here. Oh, gee, I beg your pardon, gee. I was just going to say most of the people here are from the west rather than the east. But um, uh, or, or um, uh, Yao, sorry, I missed you on the when I was first scanned the list. Um, I think it's toss a coin to see whether the whether it moves before or after. Uh, but if you move it after, they have two hours, uh, starting five my time, mm -hmm. uh, going to nine, to seven, and probably miss the uh, deadline a bit. So somewhere between seven seven thirty, that is actually more or less midnight in Beijing. Okay, it's going to be painful for the Californians, or it's going to be pain, painful for the the people okay. out on the east. I toss a coin. Uh, when is their meeting exactly? Uh, it's the same time as us. The so same time. Okay. Yeah. So could the Californians turn up two hours beforehand? <laughs> two no. hours? No, no, not two hours. Hour well, an hour. Te technically, it's possible. Just. No, wait, wait a minute, wait, rather... wait a minute, so we, so, Greg, wait. Now, I'm proposing moving our meet to one hour earlier. Okay, and then, and then have run, one hour. And then, then run a one hour meeting. Okay, so, that's okay. fine. Yeah, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. If that works that's for the perfect. Californians. Yeah. That's okay for me, yeah. Okay, let's, uh, let's do it like that. Okay. I'll send out a, a note about that. Okay. Um, that's all I have. On the admin side, um, Tarek is adding No, actually, this is not a proposal. It's a change. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's okay. consent. So uh, you're judging that there's consensus on the people on this call to make the change. And I, I th I think, that's adequate. Uh, I yes. think if if you and me and Tarek agree, we can change. I am okay. I'm on the eastern coast, so I mean, the less, uh, I, I, I'm on the west coast. Uh, and it's easy hour. for it's easy in Europe, so I don't care. I just w want to do the right thing for everyone. Okay, good. It's not Fine. so easy here, but I'm I'm okay with it. Same here. I'm okay. So we are, Tarek. You can take over. The rest of the meeting is probably yours. Okay, okay. I do have a, a um, you know, an item to talk about the use cases, uh, an update on that. 
So I kick-started a, a draft uh, um, just to, to document what we have on our wiki. Uh, uh, there is some content that we came up with and uh, uh, I started to put that in a, in a draft. Uh, my ask is for all the collaborators who uh, signed up to uh, review and uh, be a code and, and help on that draft. Uh, I'll be sending out the pointer. Uh, um, it will be on GitHub as well. So we we want your uh, your committed. So please uh, review, comment, and add content uh, as uh, as needed. Um, in terms of ETA for that draft. Um, um, so we can talk next week, maybe if we can have it by next uh, ETF, it's too optimistic, uh, but we, we will talk more about it. So from our side, uh, for the use cases, there is, there is going to be a draft. Is the 00, 0 version going to be before IETF 112? Uh, I'm not, um, I don't have the answer yet, but by next week, we should have a, a rough idea. So uh i can tell you the um, there are mul multiple people who signed up on the uh use case uh, re uh, uh draft let me go to the action items hmm. Uh, so we have the owner, we have an action item here, number four, and was to describe the use cases that the design team wants to, uh, um, uh, wants to consider, uh, and scope. And we have a bunch of people who volunteered and maybe more, uh, people also joined. Um, so anyway, so the, the idea is that we'll have a first draft. Uh, I need to update this, uh, date here. Uh, Uh, we, we, I will update the, the, the ETA for this, but, uh, my ask is for all the people who, uh, who signed up on this, uh, to help out. Uh, any, any feedback, anything, uh, you want to, uh, uh, inquire about, uh, anybody wants to comment? No. Um, how are we dividing up the work or do we just start editing and then um, self-organize as we go? Uh, so we have a, a, a wiki that we, uh, let me just call, open it up one second. Use cases number four. And we have identified multiple areas here. Uh, and then what we did uh, remember is we kind of assigned, uh, you know, expertise from each area to review. <clears throat> uh, uh, so network slicing, SFC, and, S and SRH, and IOIN. Uh, so there will be multiple sections in the use case document. And uh, for every use case, we want uh, uh, people to collaborate on it. Okay, um, so I was going to start actually with the MPLS networking, network slicing use case. Um, if Kiran has started, then I will just um, work with um, her. Yeah, I mean, the content, uh, um, what, what, okay, what I'm trying to say is the content is on our, our use case uh, page here. Okay. Uh, and we, we, our objective is to copy the content and put it in a draft and, and continue to work on this page, evolve it, uh, as we need it. Uh, unless you see that the wiki is enough and, uh, and I can stop the idea of a draft. Um, our objective ultimately is to... it has to turn into a draft. I mean, the wiki yeah. is a good way of working with it, but it has to become a draft now. Um, in, in this case, we're talking specific, we're not talking about the content of the, the draft in the sense of, um, here's what we want to do. We're looking at how the MEAD work applies to that content. Is that correct? 
we wanted to describe what's in scope, the use cases in scope. Okay. So uh, for for MIAD, MIAD is uh, you know is is really a uh, uh, trying to come up with a solution for the use cases. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Right? Tarek, I had a question on similar lines, but slightly different. Um, so slice identifier, for example, will it be will we treat it as some kind of MIAD identifier or a service identifier, a generic term, or should we just go ahead and talk in terms of the slice identifier itself? For example, making making it a first order data entity. So, Kiran, there is an ongoing uh, uh, d d discussion on T's working group list, trying to find a, a term for the identifier we want to use for the uh, underlay resources in the network. Uh, slice identifier is tricky. It's uh, it's it's uh, usually it's associated with the, with the service slice. Uh, what we are looking for is the underlay slice resources. And, uh, you know, like I said, there is a term that's coming out soon uh, and, and there's an interim uh, next Monday uh, and it, it is working group is holding an interim uh, meeting and they will be, uh, hopefully we'll come out from that meeting with a term um, for that uh, for that entity. Uh, um, I believe, yes, so MIAD is a generic uh, vehicle, I guess, uh, Kiriti may call it. Uh, for for carrying many things, and it it might carry that uh, identity uh, that we will define. Uh, Miad is able to carry multiple things, right? I agree with that that statement. Uh, so this will be an underlay type of solution. So the mapping how identifier is actually identified in this Miad data plane. Is kind of orthogonal, right? Or do you, you want to... to have one to one mapping? However, the slice identifier is defined, it's carried as is in the underlay. I, I don't want to call it slice identifier. I mean, uh, although Good. we did have slice identifier, slice ID here, uh, I think it's not uh, accurate. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's underlay resource identifier rather. Uh, uh, or you know, uh, that's that term is 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 going to be nailed down, like I said. Uh, but that one is what we want to carry in the packet, if if needed. Yeah, that's good. That's that's the only thing I wanted to clarify. Okay. Maybe here we can clarify that uh, the term is uh, to be defined by the T S working group. Let me add that uh, uh, G one second. I'm looking for this all oh, here. Okay. Okay, I did uh, update that. Anything else? Just uh, okay. one more clarification that we have that uh, final section on co coexistence of different features together. Is that going to be a placeholder in the use cases document as well? Uh, it's a good point, actually, and uh, I think uh, I, we started to talk about it uh, in the last uh, meeting, uh, at least Stuart, Loa, 
um, the idea of coexistence of use cases, uh, um, we we need to articulate it in the draft. I mean, we, we need to can can a gal gash exist with uh, ancillary data? Um, I I don't see. Mm, I, I'm gonna. Mm, I think we start to say it's possible, but yeah. Um, so I think we have a separate item for that. Um, it's if there's a use case where they need to, I think that would be a good uh, point to feed into that discussion. But I think, uh, I mean, not that we have completed the consensus, but what we're saying is that Gal Gash we leave alone, and uh, you know, so legacy uh, applications work uh, in the new world with Miad. Um, we'll come up with a different format for that. And uh, so new applications, new use cases will use a new thing and old applications will use Galgash. That's not a completed con consensus, but that's the direction. If the use case document says, here's a use case where using the old and some of the new is required, then uh, the, we'll have to, that information will have to be fed back into the Galgash decision. Um, uh, Kirti, just uh, run through a real example. Let's say I want to use segment routing uh, to set up a path for my network slice. Mm -hmm. And network slice is also a use case for, for Mian. How will, so I see it as a layering that uh, slice is a service which is utilizing segment routing. So how do you, how will these two be carried together in the packet? Well, one one uh, approach is that they aren't. So that, what that means is anything that Galgash uh, can encode, we have to say, here's how you re-encode it so it's MIAD compatible. And then you say, okay, I want to use a, a SR stack or however you, know, your, you define your tunnel. I want a slice identifier and I want this this uh, Galgash type information, it will be re-encoded so that it fits with MIAD. Alternatively, yes. we have to say, this is how we carry Galgash in the new world. And I think the consensus, at least the direction of consensus was that uh, we're not going to use the alternative of trying to carry Galgash as well. We're going to say Galgash sits alone there and um, you know, we will re-encode uh, the things that are there so that it fits in with me. Because one of the issues is, how do you know exactly the length of the Galgash, especially the ACH keys? How, you know, there was, I'm not sure if we came to a conclusion on this, but Galgash should not be used with user data. So all those constraints we leave with Galgash, but with, uh, for example, if the if the associated channel is carrying some interesting information, we might say, okay, here's how you encode that same information in the in MIAD as post stack data, and there's maybe a post stack header that will tell you that this this all exists. So then we don't actually touch Galgash anymore. Does that make sense? Uh, yes, correct. It does, but it's uh, we need to be clear on that. The only time we have a problem is when we actually have post stack data. If you have a file style uh, <coughs> ancillary data in, in stack, then it works. So it's only the post stack that is a problem. Yes, exactly. And and okay. so when we when we say um, we are creating this MIAD uh, architecture. There's a part that says here's the in stack. There's a part that says here's the post stack. And in the post stack, we must have enough so that we can say, I can bring in the Galgash <clears throat> data without the Galgash uh, approach of, you know, you need a Gal and, and the Gash looks like this and this is layout. So you need to translate it to the new thing. Then you don't need a co coexistence of the two. Or, um you take the rule you, you have the rule that if you're if you want to use the legacy format then you just encapsulate so that you run your lsp with all of its 
toys and tools, and then you run um, you know the pseudo wire or whatever inside. Now there's some pluses and minuses because it becomes a bit of a pain when it comes to DetNet, which I think will probably want to use both. Yeah. But legacy so, pseudo as we could carry across. Yes, yeah. DetNet and, is the one where I'm worried. And I think for, for DetNet, um, we could possibly say, if this is the interesting information you want, here's a new, and I'm just going to call it TLV, but yeah, here's a new encapsulation to capture, not encapsulation, here's a new format to capture the data you want which fits in with the post act data piece of uh, MIAD. We could really do with having the DetNet people in this conversation, though. We could. We oh, could. oh, well, Ballas is, is, is... Well, I'm here. Yes, I am on the call. Uh, hi, guys. Uh, I also think that in the data world group, uh, this needs some discussion. So, only Stuart and myself are here from the data world group. Uh, so we have just our own view. Right, so, right. This uh, needs a wider this, discussion. How would for example, work um, um, when we just take the existing DeadNet pseudo wire? Um, uh, sorry, the the, the DeadNet uh, control word, right, which was derived from the pseudo wire control yes. word. What would be the most likely, you know, way on how this would evolve with MIAD? Well, Torres, uh, I think that. Uh, when you refer to the DeadNet control word um, for uh, OEM with the MPLS encapsulation, we uh, redefine uh, ACH so it includes a uh, sequence number. So, uh, Sorry, your, your hard yeah, to, I, I, the audio is hard to understand, but would it stay a control word at the, the bottom of stack or would it go into the ancillary data? Uh, no, the, okay. Normally, control word is not in the stack because uh, the control word is preceded by bottom of the stack, pseudo so wire label. No, no, understood. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying that it is at a specific location, you know, um, where I can only have one such control word, right? In the pseudo wire, yes. Yeah, so yes, you and, have control and, work, and or you have right. a so, AC. So let's let's say I want to combine, I don't know, a dead net with a pseudo wire just to create ad hoc without having thought about it, a case where I need two control words. No, you so can can we just ask Greg to remind us how OAM is going to work for dead net? Um it will be it will work the same way it works in pseudo wire. So basically it's uh ACH instead of their uh, definite control word. So, uh, so you won't have the sequence numbering or anything? Uh, like the that. sequence number, well, that's what we are defining. Uh, there is a um, definite working group uh, MPLS OEM document that defines ACH uh, for DEFNET with a sequence number. Yes, the sequence number space is different from uh, the only control word, but it allows uh, it to be used in uh, packet replication, duplicate elimination, or the preservation. Okay, all right. Okay, I need to go read it. Sorry. Okay. So, um, my, my take on this is that uh, we have the scope of the problem now. We're probably not going to make much more progress on that today before we actually have some time to read up on it. Uh, should we actually schedule a meeting on uh, MIAD and um, DEFNET, like the first meeting in October? Uh, we definitely... Oh, I, so I, not next I was going to suggest... Some other day? Yeah, that will be good. Because yeah, I, I think it would be sure. good to have a meeting. It would be good if we publicized it with the DetNet team to make sure that, um, um, you know, that a larger contingent turned up just so that they weren't surprised. And so we didn't end up with a, you know, a huge non meeting of minds a few, a few weeks down the road. We need to bring them with us. Yeah. Well, I, I think. 
I think we have need to have a good representation from uh, DeathNet. That's a given. But I think also we need to have a good representation of people with experience on pseudo-wires and uh, uh, discussion on uh, the Pi style uh, type of work also. I guess the, the, the main challenge is really to come up with the most easy argued um, combination of multiple things, right? So um, a combination of, let's say, uh, Kieran mentioned um, the, uh, the, the, the slice identifier, right? So maybe, you know, DeadNet would be running in a slice. How would I combine that? Maybe that's easier than the OAM. The OAM is always difficult for me, right? So uh, just something to, to vet that uh, our new um, MIAD is, is extensible for combinations. I'm not sure what yeah, the, I you know, kind of agree, but the, I, I wouldn't aim for the most simple to begin with. I'm actually happy if I can get something that actually works. Oh, no, no. I mean, the most simple one that is a combination to show that we're extensible, right? I don't need additional, you know, complexity. Um, okay, it's, so we it's, agree, it's, yeah. 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 Uh, Tarek, can you put the date, say early October? Uh, on that uh, action item that you have put in. And for those of us who are not uh, DeathNet experts, um, is there a short reading list to catch up? No, I think that, you know, the, the additional QS uh, things we, we, we want to have, we, we just had the interim, and I think that's that's all very tentative, but I think we can we can put that tentative type of metadata we we want into the uh, um, into the wiki, the MPLS wiki, to start from there, with the pointers to the drafts that we that we were proposing into DeadNet. Okay. Do they have any existing RFCs, or is everything still drafts? No, I mean, no. Yeah, that's I'll, I'll post in the uh, chat for uh, OEM related documents. That yeah. Yeah, the, the, the OAM is, is, is existing, right? I was talking about the additional QS things. So I think there are two aspects in, in DeadNet. I think it was you who was saying um, the, the framework and, and uh, architecture of DeadNet, because I'm starting from scratch. I, I will drop to the chat window. We already have the data plane draft, so I, I will point to some RFCs. Thank you. I think probably, yeah, what you what you need to get up to speed, Kariti, is look at some example uh, MPLS-based uh, data planes. That will probably get you there a lot faster. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, Tarek, I would actually like this to be shared uh, in a mail. Okay, can you please, yeah, so that we don't lose it if you paste yeah, it, yeah. That, it will be gone. Okay. okay sure. So, Kiriti, I think there are really three main blocks, right? One is the variation of the um, pseudo-wire control word, which is now the DeadNet control word, um, which, you know, um, is is in the standard RFCs, then this ongoing OEM work, and then there is the you know hopefully upcoming uh, you know QS latency improvement uh, parameters. So so those are the three buckets. But yeah, we yeah. we should put it in the wiki as well after we have it in email. Okay, thanks. Um, before moving on, I want to go back to the uh, use cases. Uh, I think um, you know from the discussion. We are saying that coexistence is uh, possible. Uh, it's something that we need to come up with a solution for, but it, we see it possible. We see it coming our way, right? Um, so I'm I'm not of that opinion. I'm of of the opinion that instead of trying to make um, Galgash coexist with uh, Miad, I would rather see that Galgash be frozen as is. And the contents, the use cases that Galgash uh, uh, addresses are translated in a way that um, we don't have the restrictions and we don't have any concern about um, disturbing uh, legacy applications. 
So if you want to carry a certain type of data in the, in the ACH, you say, okay, here's the new way of doing it. Same data, but here's the new way of doing it. So it fits, fits in with me at. Okay, uh, way... I think uh, you're talking about coexistence of solutions. Yes. Um, I'm talking about coexistence of use cases. I'm of, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. I mean, solution, yeah. I mean, maybe you will stand it, um, you will push for one solution that covers all use cases. But, um, you know, two use cases can't coexist on the same packet. Um, yes, no, no. it's more like full stack, right? So uh, Dell Dash being uh, MPLS v4 and uh, Niat being MPLS v6. If I may do that uh, crazy comparison, do you want to go there? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think that's the idea, right? That they were not trying to mix old and new header uh, elements, but should be able to run them in parallel in the same uh, network for uh, migration. Yes, no, is that? That correct understanding I think, uh, running in parallel is the right way of doing it i'm more worried about the translations that how often do you, will you have to do translation from new new method to old method don't translate in uh, in the live network and what i'm saying is if here if there's an application of gal gash and it's carrying certain type of data you say okay that data is carried in this new way now, if you are, if you see a packet carrying it the old way, you carry that packet through the network the old way. But if you see a packet and say, but I want to also put me at data, the the person creating that packet uh, and codes it from the get go in the new way, and and so that whole thing. So there's not an online. There's not a point in the network from here to here. It's legacy, and this box is responsible for doing translation. So I agree with you, Karichi. There's one other case, which is when I've got a legacy packet in my hand and I need to transport it, in which case I think I would create a new bottom of stack and have whatever features I wanted in the stack. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I think, I, I don't think we're, we're not going to do interworking, I think is not the, interworking. Um, yeah. Do it. Yes. We'll encapsulate it into another okay. layer. Thank you. Every, we're either, every yeah, we're either in, encapsulate or we'll construct a fresh packet. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> that was the update on the use cases uh, item number two. Um, I don't know if Matthew is on the call today uh, to give us an update on the uh, requirements spec. Uh, no, it's not. It's not. We, we we deferred that point. Oh, you did. Okay. Oh, okay. And we talked about uh, the. Uh, uh, did we talk about the architecture and framework? Uh, nothing more than we actually gave it uh, a first uh, posting uh, early, first week of October. ETA. Okay, so we have an ETA. Uh, I think that was in the... Oh, it wasn't. Okay, yeah, you can... I think number five we talked about, right? Uh, that was the, the the first item uh, when I joined. Uh, consensus on these three design di directives. Uh, uh, there is actually a text on that. Okay. Uh, uh, it should be found on the, the MIAD page. Let's see if I can find it. If you go to the MIAD top page, there, uh, and then at the bottom. So this is the terminology. Is that? Uh... Ah, okay. So I'm confused. Um, what's on the top of that page? Okay, the the one here consensus top. Okay, okay, okay. Go. Go to the top. That's a oh. design directive, not that one, the one above. Th this one, right? And me add the oh. No, not here. Uh, Gal Gash it should not be here. Let me go back. Uh, is it this data after bottom stack? I think. 
that's the uh, the write up that we talked about. No. Okay. Let me see if I can find it. Um. Um, so let's see. Control. Where do I have the? Can you put it in the chat, please? Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm looking for the chat box. Where is it? It uh, it usually is on the top. There's a menu. But a bottom right on mine. I can see if I look along the bottom ribbon, I can see participants in chat. Uh, bottom right, as far as you can go, but it may be different on yours. I... There's something there, uh, chat, okay. Everyone. It's here. Okay, I got something from you. Interesting. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. Let's see. So, should I try to talk to this? Please go ahead. I'm sharing it. <laughs> uh, so, I think this actually reflects the meeting we had among the chairs um, on Tuesday. Uh, so, and I've re written it up as it's actually a decision. Uh, if it's not the decision after this meeting, we have to change that. Uh, so that's the first, first sentence. Uh, it says that the existing specification and implementation of GALGAS and the control word specified by the DETNIC working group will, conti will continue to operate as specified. We're not changing. Uh, that's a cornerstone. Uh, I have a um, uh, RSC that is 5586, and then there it's actually extended or corrected or whatever enhanced by a number of RSCs uh, to actually form what is in the uh, MPLS generic associated channel today. Uh, and we say we, we are not going to make any changes to that uh, lightly. If we do that, it will take a very careful discussion, a very careful coordination. Uh, I referenced one RFC that is 8964, that is a DEFNET uh, RFC, where I think the uh, existing definition of the DEFNET control word is made. That uh, is the situation exactly. Okay, thanks. Uh, and then I say that a packet cannot carry both associated channel and or the DETNET control word. I haven't looked at how that is actually resolved, uh, but they can't carry either of those and PSD uh, at the same time. And it's PSD, it's not actually ancillary data. We're using the words uh, kind of sloppy sometimes. So then I say, the... So, so one um, one small comment. I think it would be helpful. I mean, as as a um, programmer, I'd like to put parentheses, uh, both the associated channel and and or the, you know, open parentheses the associated channel and or the uh, DetNet control word close parentheses and PSD. So what is not allowed is either of those with PSD. And that's right. Um, yeah. The the first reading of this, you may not see it that way because you might say, "Oh, I cannot con carry the associate control word uh, and the DetNet control word." 
Um, so <laughs> you see what I mean? So I think a little. I think, we... I think I understand what you say. Terry, can you try to add a new line and actually capture what Kiret is saying? Uh, give me a chance, one second. Okay. I would maybe do it if looking for where that a packet cannot carry right here. Uh, yeah. So she and or so what he's asking for is. I mean, something like if a packet carries a PSD, it may not carry either the associate channel or the. The D the dead net control word. Uh, we can we can word craft it afterwards. I just want it to be very clear. What can be carried with what and what cannot be carried with what? Uh, it's actually. Yeah, this is better. Yeah, clear much, much better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it should be. Okay, so grammar, it's completely a grammar question. Uh, should there be an and before PSD? Oh, uh, it's off. Okay, you have it there. Added it here at the. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I don't know if it is the English correct version, but. Um, that's fine. Well, that's... Someone can tell me offline. It normally takes about an hour. <laughs> it looks okay it... to me. Thank you. Okay, yeah, thanks. Good point. Okay. Uh, so that is. Uh, you you were you passed this uh, this point right? Uh, I I trying to. I'm looking at the dot. That's the file style SPL and the gal or the file. Should it be there? It should be thus the packet cannot carry. Is it thus? Okay. Thus. I don't know why thus though. I mean, are you conc um, concluding here? Oh, okay. So you started by saying it cannot be at the same time. So, in other words, maybe. So, okay, let's see. Mm. So, wh when Kireti and I are discussing words, do we Kireti? Uh, the word I would use is simultaneously. The pa a packet cannot simultaneously carry both an associated channel and all the DS. Uh, so, in, yeah. Mean, okay, I made a mistake. Mm. I think simultaneous actually goes before. Uh, a packet cannot simultane cannot simultaneously uh, carry both. You yeah. get rid of time. That's fine. And then, yeah. do we the need thus... the next? Sorry. Do we need the next paragraph? Well, uh, th thus the. Yeah. That's the. I mean, if you keep it's, it, it's, I would I would change thus to in other words. Um, because yes. Yeah, this is this is just the example clarification. There's no, it, it is not in conflict with the previous thing, and there's nothing yeah. wrong with telling people twice. So, in other words, or IE, just IE. Uh, I, 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 okay. And if, okay. Beginning of the sentence. I, yeah. Okay. Well, you know, it's all a bit, it's, it's a bit arbitrary when you. Okay. That's fine with me. So now. Uh, I'm no, on the, or, the your isn't quite right either. Huh? I.e. Sorry, uh, what was the suggestion, Stuart? I missed it. I think there should be I.e. neither. 
the oh. A and B or the C and D can be present in the same in the same label stack. Nor here. Nor yeah, I think that's nor. Can can be present. It's not. Cannot. Can yeah. be present. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Next. Correct. I agree with that paragraph, and it does add clarity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fine. Mm -hmm. Um. The next sentence. What is going on here? Is it? I think I you mean the FAA. Is, so I think I would put that round the. Um, That's not quite worded right, is it? That sentence. It's contradicting with the previous one. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It says no, that you not. don't have. It's a correct. Yeah. Okay. So, so you may have the gal, the death net control word, and the file style SPL uh, in the same stack as long as the uh, file style SPL does not require PSD. Does that? Then we have yeah. to. This is saying that they cannot be in the same. No, no, no. Way. So what you need to say here in that IE paragraph, where you have in parentheses PSD, you need to say file file style SPL with PSD. Nor the file style again. I mean, in two places, and then you say if you don't have a P, the next sentence is trying to say if you don't have a PSD, with? there's no there's no conflict. So you're saying that this width has to be there. Yeah. Yeah. And and with PSD, okay. And in the sentence and the line above, yeah. Okay, so there is uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, let me bring this back. And here, the gal, the D, the D. The dead net control word and the file style SPL without, uh, yeah, I, I would just put that file style SPL without PSD may coexist in the same label stack. Actually, it's not even label stack, it should be packet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, in both cases, it should be packet, shouldn't it? Yeah. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. We are looking at where we have the indicators, don't we? No, not okay. You're right. There's some confusing here. Okay. Yeah. The wording that I have right now is the file style SPL and gal slash control uh, that net control word uh, can coexist. Is that what we want to say? In can the same be? packet. In this. Well, actually, well, well, we said the same packet. Actually, it's not true, Kariti, because we can always encapsulate. So we have to be careful when we say the same packet. Oh, right, right. Yeah, right. It, yeah it can just go transparently. Yeah. No, no, I think it's the same label stack, not same. The problem stack. is the gal and everything come after, well, not the gal, but the ACH and the PSD come after the label stack. But that entity, which is the label stack and its post stack data, we don't have a name for that, but packet is way too big as Stuart points out. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's let's leave it as a label stack for now, but it's it's an extended label stack, which is label stack plus immediately following PSD. Oops. Now, uh, if you take if you take away the data control word, I'm not saying we should do it, but the the text is con correct without the data control word. We should have the debt and control over there some way, but th this text as it stands now is correct. Because they have the file style SPL plus the gal, two indicators. They can be present in the uh, same stack as long as we don't re not require uh, PSD. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, so where should we put debt and control word in this, in this type of sentence? 
I would just put it after the gal and or .net and or DCW. Uh, but the DC DC con .net control world is after the stack. Yeah, so so the problem is that we have this problem that we need a terminology for the label stack plus the immediate post label stack data, which even the ACH is after the after the label stack. Um, so, but but if you say packet, uh, as has been pointed out, uh, you know you might have multiple encapsulations, and yes, you can they can coexist if there are multiple encapsulations. But for a given label stack plus immediate PSD, they cannot coexist. But we don't have a term for, for that. It's not label stack, it's not the whole packet, it's something in between. No, I think you're wrong. I, imagine that you have a, a packet that you've encapsulated into another pack, into another encapsulation. The outer sure. encapsulation might have a file style label and it might have PSD and the inner packet, which is a completely new packet, may only have Galgash. And that is a is a legal combination. Sure. I'm not so not talking about that and I think that's covered. Yeah. But we don't have an indicator telling um us to go look for a definite control word after the Uh, after the stack. Yeah, how do you do it today? I mean, I don't know. Tell us. How do you tell the the node that go look for the definite control word? Uh, sorry. How does how, how does a router know that there's a definite control word in a packet? From it's mandatory. Data. In case of .NET, it is mandatory. So based on the service label, you know that this is a .NET pseudo buyer, and you know that there must be. So so said, said another way, same way as um, pseudo wire and VPN and stuff, the bottom label tells you what follows the stack. I thought there were protocol extensions, uh, BGP or LDP. Oh, yeah, but they're telling you how to set the call up. Are you talking about how do you get the two ends coordinated? By the way, there is no BGP for DetNet or, or anything like that yet. Yes. Um, so are you saying how do you get the the control plane to work, or are you saying how does you does the data plane know? No, the no, data, no. data plane. The data, data plane data. knows because the last label tells you. Uh, and, and we call it a service label in DetNet, but we call it a pseudo wire label in pseudo wire. We call it a, a VPN label in, um, it, it's always the bottom label. It's consistent across all these MPLS applications. So in, in the case when, of pseudo wires. Hang on, two of you. I, I have a, I have a suggestion. Could we, uh, it says and or, uh, could we, uh, Inject the uh, the mandatory definite control word. Uh, you... Well, I mean, it is mandatory. But I think that, I think that's a surplus in, in word, that, isn't it? In definite, uh, the control word is mandatory. Yeah, uh, you must have sequence map. And, and quite frankly, we know that pseudo wire doesn't work very well without it either. So, yes, so, but uh, Ethernet is optional. So we should... Yes. Thing. And this yeah, is actually a surely to goodness, none of this new stuff needs to work with old fashioned pseudo yeah. wires. I mean, a, the reason that the, the, the pseudo wires run in this old fashioned sort of uh, primitive way is because the hardware wasn't able to do anything better. But if the hardware's not able to do anything better, presumably um, the hardware would be upgraded to do this new stuff. And so it might as well do pseudo wire the way we want to do it. It's not the way we want to do it, the way that works without causing issues. So let let me ask again. Uh, we have the uh, in that sentence we have the file style SPL. That's an indicator. We have the gal. That's an indicator. What should we put there for the definite control word? That also an indicator. And you're saying it doesn't exist. There is no indicator. It it, it works the same way with. Uh, um... 
uh, the same way as um, well, pseudo wire really works that way as well, right? I mean, there's no indicator in pseudo wire. Because they were directly there's no indicator that. because it's mandatory. So as uh, soon as we yeah, see the service, mandatory. I think the egress signals that uh, I am expecting the ingress to send the control word. So this the egress will say send me a control word and and he's expecting the packet to arrive with it. Yeah, it better arrive with one if you've agreed it. Yeah, yeah they ha they have to handshake. That's uh, that's what yeah. Stewart is, you know, saying. Try to, but the two endpoints have to uh, agree, uh, either by configuration or by routing protocol extensions or signaling uh, protocol extensions. But but that's the case for pseudo wires. For DetNet, it's a predefined. You're going to send it. So, okay. but that's similar. Uh, if if you say that pseudo wires have have agreed, then DetNet is like there's a pre-agreement. And in that way, I would say those two are similar. But so the, the indicator. The point, the point Kiriti, is that it's only relevant on the endpoint service endpoints. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, in our FI style, uh, the MIAD maybe. Uh, um, oh, I hope. Yeah. The transit node may have to inspect the, the stack, and go to beyond. Uh, you know, it has to skip the control word. Uh, so it need it needs to know the presence of it. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it, it is somewhat different in that net. In case of that net, uh, in the middle of the network, you also need that uh, control word for the sequence number. Uh, and so it is similar to multi-segment pseudo wire. So yep. all the SPE nodes, you need the that net control word uh, because they can do replication and elimination at the packet level. So this is why control word is mandatory for that functionality. And in that net, we have divided in a, uh, the that net layer in a that net service sub layer. This is where this pre of functionality, packet replication, elimination, and ordering functionality functionality can work. And it is using the that net control word uh, because that is containing the sequence number. Uh, and there is a, a that net forwarding sub layer, which is just uh, forwarding. It does not matter. Uh, whether there is a control word or not, it is not using it. It is only identifying the that net flows. So there's nothing in the packet that, that tells you that a control word is present. It's just a uh, a mandatory uh, thing. Well, I mean, it's, but but it's this is MPLS, right? I mean, MPLS works on the assumption the bottom label tells you what follows. Yeah, but on a transit node, you don't know the bottom label. You you have no context. You, Ah, but you see the thing about oh, you, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, right, right. And so what we so this is about us moving to a world in which P routers understand more about the packet than they have in the past. And is it the case that uh, Balas uh, was bringing up is it no, it's not quite the same. You see, the oh. the, the way I look at and, and maybe Balaj and I disagree, but I don't know. The way I look at it is that you construct your um uh detnet layer as it were your detnet network as it were which consists of the detnet nodes doing their thing and you interconnect them with mpls and uh, so the mpls labels are delivering you to the detnet node then it's it's got a package received it then pulls apart this is how it works for, for, for pseudowires as well it then pulls the packet apart just looks at the service label, decides what it's got to do, and then sends the packet on its way. So the DetNet node would essentially pop the whole stack, get to the DetNet layer, process it, and then yep. put a different stack on it? Yeah, I mean, just yes. like pseudo-wise. Just like, just like yeah. multi-segment pseudo -wise. So it's multi-segment pseudo -wise, basically. Okay. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the picture I can, that's a picture I can hold in my head. Uh, and it is actually, in my view, likely to be multi-segment pseudo wire with adjacent nodes having pre -PH, having PHP the uh, the debt the, the MPLS layer. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to the long distance connection between them in uh, in the pseudo wire world. I mean, the only time you'd use the long distance probably is to pass DetNet unaware nodes. Yeah, and yeah, the fewer yeah, of exactly, them that you exactly. have, the better your debt net will work. I mean, if you have too many of those, the determinants we are aligned. Goes away. Yeah, we are aligned. We are aligned. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. I'm, I'm kind of, kind of looking back to, 
uh, what we actually should put there in the text. Should we put in and or a .NET pseudo wire and then in parentheses? So, uh, um, maybe the way we should uh, we should phrase this is FAI, FAI style PS. Okay, I'm just going to say it. We don't have. I mean, we'll probably have to wordsmith it. FAI style PSD and uh, the GACH and the DETNET con control words are mutually incompatible, not mutually, but are incompatible. So we're not talking about the indicators. We're just talking about the PSD and the GACH and the control word. And so PSD and GACH or PSD and control word cannot simultaneously exist in one packet. In one, Tarek, um, can you kind of uh, capture that and see if I understand? I did, I did not parse it well. Uh, so so say, let me see if I said PSD and uh, uh, DeathNet control word cannot exist. Oh, it's, it's actually uh, PSD slash. Uh, Comma Let's start with one. Yeah, yeah. Let's start with okay. one. Um, so the, the word packet is going to trigger the same objection as before. So yeah. in the same um, post stack data. It's like, there is actually after the bottom of stack. Uh, yeah. Hmm. No, the MPLS payload. Or we did no cancel. No, we're not there. Uh, are, I think we, we should actually say after the bottom of stack. Yeah. Okay. Or Im okay. immediately yeah, yeah. after That's the different. bottom of stack. Um, did we lose you, Tarek? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm still here. Uh, I uh, I can re simply remove this then. After the bottom no, well, of not, not yet, not yet. We haven't taken care of the uh, ACH. The gal. ACH, yeah. 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 Can ACH and D and uh, the the .NET control word coexist? And that was actually a question I had when I wrote this, and I, I didn't. So, Bala, uh, I don't think so. Then we could simply say the FAI style uh, PSD, the DeathNet control word, and ACH cannot mutually coexist simultaneously after the bottom of stack. After the bottom of a given label stack. We have more instances of these uh, control words because I think this would not extend only to PSD. Might be instead of coexist, we can say cannot be present. Well, they can individually be present. The problem is the coexistence. No, be present simultaneously. Okay, be present simultaneously. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because coexist sure, is sure. something yeah. like living creature. This is is this the whole extent of the control words that we have? Uh, That's what so far, I think that uh, actually what is implemented in this. And um, Tarek, one more thing. Uh, after the bottom of stack, I would say after the bottom of a given label stack. And then, uh, I think that's uh, yeah. correct. Yeah, so I can, think that works. I think that works for me. You can remove the um, the next paragraph.
I think we should remove the, the paragraph that says a packet cannot simultaneously carry both. Again, to the point that if you have uh, encapsulation within encapsulation, the packet may have in very different places all of these things. Um, so, yeah, that a packet is tricky. It's too too big. Yeah. So if you remove that, um, can we say MP an MPLS header? I don't know what an MPLS header is. Uh, yeah, that yeah, would be that's... the idea of the stack plus, uh, you know, the MPLS specific things after bottom of stack, like the. I don't think that is actually really documented anywhere. Yeah. It's used by some, but not everyone. Uh, people don't agree. But yeah. we, we yeah. would need to have mm -hmm. some term to describe what we currently are doing, or everything so, the payload, right? But what I'm trying to get to is that uh, the latest thing that we said, the FAS style PSD uh, data control word and ACH cannot be present simultaneously. Doesn't that capture everything and we don't need anything more? So the two previous paragraphs can be removed. <coughs> uh, you're saying that this is enough here, that the two, the two paragraphs. The, the, the 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 one sentence. I mean, I don't. Yeah, just that one sentence. Isn't that sufficient? Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, I... I thought that the two paragraphs before was actually building up to that conclusion. The problem is the diff. The, I mean, we have to then reword things so that we are talking about the same MPLS stack. Um, because if I have a label stack, it cannot be followed by both PSD and, uh, and the ACH and DATNET or, uh, you know, it cannot be followed by any two of these or all three of them together. It can only have exactly one. But the previous thing said a packet and the packet is too big because one part of the mm -hmm. packet can have ACH, yeah. a different part of the packet can have uh, PSD. So, so that's why I, you know, I, I think that that last uh, formulation of the statement is the most accurate. Yes, mm, that's true. And so the others we might just want to get rid of, and but, uh, yeah, you uh, certainly need to correct it because oh, correct it, yeah. we just, we just, a packet is not correct in that yeah. first one. It should be a label stack. So after a bottom a, of oh, stack, maybe maybe that a label stack cannot simultaneously be followed by, and then put those things down, by both. Yep. That's uh, ag again, carry it. It's a given label stack. A given label stack. Yeah, yeah, sure, that's fine. A given label stack. Cannot stack back before. Uh, yeah, stack. Stack. Everything. Thank you. Stack that's it. Be followed by. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah. By both. Yeah, yeah. Then we can probably remove this. Okay, you don't like this uh, clarification. No, no, we have the clarification below. It just seems to be a repeat, though. Okay, the, I think I think we leave that we leave it as is, and we can probably off. So why it. don't you put that text in brackets, and then we can get that will remind us to go. Uh, this is the old-fashioned technique for indicating that we need uh, square brackets. Square brackets is the convention for saying we have not resolved this text yet. Yeah, I I just hope the square brackets doesn't have some meaning in this wiki. Yeah, they, they usually <laughs> do. Usually, okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah. they 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 okay if you have only one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Work. Okay. I'm uh, afraid that's a, an ITU convention, but you, so don't shout at me too much. The uh, thing here is that I actually like. I think that I yeah. want to talk to people about this in other context. I need to go over all this anyway, so I'll have it there. Yeah, no, no, I, I, I think I, I see what you're saying, Laura. The first, the, a given label stack cannot simultaneously be followed by, and the last one, 
are basically saying the same thing. And the middle thing is explaining it, you know, expanding around it a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, they're all saying similar things. So I think keeping all three would be a little too much, but um, offline we can decide, you know, we can wordsmith it and see what we want to mm -hmm. keep. Yeah. But they are at least self-consistent now and we can yes. work on, yeah. yes. Yes, yes. And then we have uh, the last paragraph where we actually try to say that. I don't think we need that anymore. Since we? we are not changing, we, anything that actually comes up with a problem needs to be solved within the new method. Yeah, that might have to be reworded. I understand Do we need that. It? Well, the philosophy, the, the, I mean, it, I, that, that's possibly something that should go at the beginning of this lot. But then we don't have to, <laughs> then we don't have the conflict descri described. Yeah, I, I think <laughs> it, it, it probably fits better at the end because you say, look, yeah. this is the current situation. Now, going forward, please don't break it. Yes, yeah. exactly. Okay, can we leave it? As it um, put it in square brackets the same way. I think we could. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's good. And then we can resolve it offline. Yeah. Okay, I did save it so I don't lose it. Um, okay, so, and then when I wrote this, I had input from uh, working group chairs for three working groups. So I actually added the uh, the co shares uh, as co signers. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I know that MPLS is okay. Uh, Stuart, you're also okay as a PAL share. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, what about Balas? Are you okay with this? I am fine, but I am not chair of that method. So, I am just ah, a contributor. Okay. Sorry. Um, so, one question. So, sorry, you finish your, your conversation. Uh, now, I just want to to make this uh, kind of in effect from now on. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the... Um, so you need a definite chair. I need a... Yeah, Luberger yeah. and Janusz Farkas are the chairs of that. Yeah, method. okay. And then the first one is MPLS working group, and I think you probably need to remove that. No, why? Um, have well, they? Because seen... we haven't sent we haven't we, we haven't we, sent this exact text, have we? Uh, we have sent a text with the same. Uh, no, we haven't sent this exact text. Yeah. No, not the exact yeah. text. But the, we never do that. Uh, so we send it out to consensus call, we get comments, and we update. Okay. And that's what we've done okay. here. So, so, so this last line is uh, a few just, I mean, once it's done, these are the people who have approved it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, so okay. It's, yeah. well, you'll be sending this uh, to the list, is that uh, after our meeting, right? Is that what you said? Uh, yes. Or yes. to the... Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's fine. Uh, Stuart, if we're going to do the exact text uh, approach, then we had actually would have to have a lot of ping-ponging back and forth. You, you, yeah. Your working group, you, 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 um, yeah. Yeah. you, you run it the way you think appropriate. Okay, um, that was good. That is a progress for me. Now I can start working on a couple of other things. Um, I think we made quite a lot of progress today, actually. Yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, what time do we have now? The meeting is officially done for a minute ago. Yeah, um, I, I, yes, I just okay. want you to look at one. We're not going to talk about but in the agenda, I mentioned a um, terminology and abbreviation document. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can we, can you find that? 
I did, uh, yeah, I thought I opened it with Niad. Here. Yes, yeah. that one. So I started to uh, capture the terms that we uh, define in Niad and the abbreviations. Uh, and I'm not done, uh, but uh, I'm going to work on it uh, in parallel with writing uh, the architecture documents and capture things. The thing is that it's built up uh, in a way to uh, say that we have things that are decided, decided terms, and then the list, and then we have proposed term, and then to everybody's surprise, the phi turns up there. And the reason I put it there is that I actually got an input uh, from someone that said that this is the same word as phi for uh, the physical layer in um, in other models. You, you can't hear the difference, so you should actually uh, try to tweak it some way. Uh, I mean, they spell, uh, huh? spell completely differently, but... Yeah, yeah, and it's not even a, a, a single letter at the same place. Yeah. Uh, so re reading is fine, but talking about is hard, especially if you are talking to uh, an uh, IEEE guy. Say, one of the yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, one way we could do is actually use the word, the, the name that Jan has been pushing, uh, but I'm not re really familiar with that. Uh, Comfortable with that? He talked about network function indicators. No, I'm not comfortable with that. Yeah. Okay. I I, I thought so, but uh, we need to come up with something other, something else. Okay. Or we say that okay. Yeah, they sound the same, but we live with that. Uh, but uh, we should we should think about if we can do something. I mean, if we can do something, yes, but I mean, we're talking about two terms that look very different and are used in very different contexts, uh, but they just happen to sound the same. And so, you know, I'm not sure that uh, that's a strong, uh, if, if we can find a term that we're all like and are in agreement with, that's okay. But for me, that's not, it's not a big issue. Uh, I, what I'm saying is I'm prepared to listen to you, but I actually, since I got the comment, I think I thought yeah, I had yeah. to bring it up. Sure, sure, yeah. And then I have abbreviations below, uh, the same way. Harry, can you move down? Or is... Oh, yeah. So here I have all, all the, not all, but some of the. The PSD. Oh, you do. Okay. Sorry. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. PS, PSD is there. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we want, um, just for context, to put some of the older things like GAL and GASH? Um, because we will use those terms. And we can either yeah, assume uh, if, that if, depending a little bit what the ambition with the text is, but if we will uh, put things in there that we use frequently, we could actually put another heading and say uh, frequently use terms and abbreviations and then list them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. These yeah. are. Uh, if, I can do that. It says it's not a big deal. It's pretty quick when you want to start understanding what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. And I think that the only uh, mm -hmm. thing is discussion around the phi at the moment. Uh, phi or phi? Is it phi or phi? Yeah, good question. I mean, I, I, I think phi is not a good name to use, as I've said several times. So we, <laughs> if, if we pronounce it phi, I'm fine. But yeah. phi means mm -hmm. a different piece of the system to most people. Yeah, yeah. Um, this would be an eon. <laughs> an so eon the, 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 
I think the European pronunciation might be phi. If you're French, you'd say fe. Yeah, but we don't. We could just we make it a fait accompli. <laughs> yeah. The, but uh, let us be open for a while and we see if we come up with something that is. But fe, I am fine with. Uh, yeah. that, that, that's the phonetic. But it's just <laughs> phi is. Yeah, well, yeah, the physics of the system, isn't it? <laughs> so. what, what is the issue? I'm curious what's oh, the issue no. with, phi, with phi itself as a word. So P, think PHY, oh, think layer one. Yes. Oh, the yes. physical layer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah every, and all, all, a lot of people refer to that as the phi layer. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 And I do too, but I just don't use it very often. So it's not top yeah. of mind for me. But and, and our layers are so. I mean, if we were sort of up in applications land somewhere, it would be fine. But we're so close to the physical layer that it's going to cause issues. Yeah, and also um, because we're working with the .NET folks that are yeah. even closer to the physical layer. Yeah, yeah. So maybe we just pronounce it "fay" and yeah, yes. invoke the Irish. What what is you know, what's the word "fay" mean in the Irish context? Fairy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, fairy or yeah. magic or something. Yeah. I suppose we should look up FAI and just make sure it's not rude or anything, shouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> well, how about plausible deniability? <laughs> well, I got away with fat pseudo wire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just don't, uh, no, yeah, don't look it up. <laughs> it's quite. I got to run. Okay. Well, I'll, 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 stop yeah. I'll stop the recording. Oh.